Hi, Mr. Valky. It's neat that you actually have a meteorite named after you. Yeah, we're a little confused on what a meteor actually is. Isn't it the same thing as a meteoroid and a meteorite? I'm glad to help you. Uh, actually, I had an asteroid named after me. It's easy to get them confused. Meteoroids are small pieces of a rock from an asteroid or comet drifting in outer space. When a meteorite enters into the Earth's atmosphere and burns up, it's called a meteor. People often see these meteors and call them shooting stars. People near us report it saying a fireball. Is a fireball like a shooting star? Yes, a fireball is a name given to a particularly bright meteor. They are sometimes so bright they can be seen in the daytime. What's a meteor, right? Most meteorites burn up completely when they enter into Earth's atmosphere. But if it's large enough and survives and impacts the Earth, it's called a meteorite, such as the one I'm holding here. Some meteorites can cause craters, such as the one in Meteor Crater in Arizona. We understand that a fireball was sighted near our town and that it may have caused a sonic boom. Is this possible? Yes, if it's large enough. The larger size will allow it to last longer and penetrate deeper into the atmosphere. The sonic boom is caused because the meteor is traveling faster than the speed of sound. Would a sonic boom from a meteor be powerful enough to cause a seismic reading? Yes, a seismometer will detect a sonic boom from a large meteor. However, to hear the sonic boom, you have to be relatively close, typically within 50 miles or so, and the fireball is visible as far as away, 500 miles away. I would love to see one. Both fireballs are not observed because 75% of the Earth is ocean, and there aren't too many people in the middle of the ocean. In July of 2001, there was a fireball that was seen from Virginia to Ontario, Canada. And sonic booms were reported by people stretched over an area of more than 100 miles. <laughs> this has been a lot of help, Mr. Bulky. I think we found the answer to our mystery. Dr. Peter Brown at the University of Western Ontario is an expert on fireballs. You might want to send him an email and ask him some more questions. Thanks so much.